Hey everybody, welcome to the Good E-Reader Radio Show. This is Marcus. We wanted to start today's edition of our podcast to let you guys know that the Entourage Edge has been shipped if you've ordered it basically before January the 12th of 2010. They were expecting delays in shipping, so if you've placed your order before January 12th, 13th, 14th, we're told, the first week and a half of March is when it's going to be shipped out. Any orders placed from January the 20th to current date, which is of course today, March the 8th, Monday, 2010, Entourage Edge has reported that they're not going to be shipping any new units towards the end of March. So, for those of you that were lucky enough to pre-order it and get confirmation of the shipping, congratulations! Send us some pics of you and your union at action at our forum at goodyreader.com slash forum. Now, the Entourage Edge, if you guys aren't familiar with it, is one of the new generation dual netbook e-reader. Now, it folds and opens up like a book, so there's two different screens on each side. One is touch screen, one is not. Uh, it swivels in 180 degrees. It's comparable to the way that a Nintendo DS looks, if you've ever seen one of those where it opens, you have two screens, except the screens on these are very, very solid. Uh, it uses 1200 by 825 pixels. It's about 9.7 inches if you measure the screen diagonally. So each screen is 9.7 inches. They're marketing it at more towards students in college, high school, or if you're in uh, the industry, it's a good little unit to be able to take notes in, to be able to read textbooks, to be able to show people your work on the fly. And it also, of course, plays movies. It does built-in Wi-Fi, so if you have a local Wi-Fi network, if you're at a coffee shop, in your, if you're in a workplace or school environment that has Wi-Fi, you should be able to do that. Uh, you should be looking at being able to talk into it. It has a built-in microphone. It also has a Google Android operating system, which not a whole lot of people talk about in a lot of the Entourage Edge press releases that are out there, or a lot of the articles that you'll see in Google News, which of course our blog, goodereader.com slash blog, is now featured in Google News, so you should start seeing a number of interesting articles taking place. Now, we like the Entourage Edge, of course. Uh, it weighs about three pounds. It has internal memory of about 4 gigs. It reads EPUB and PDF format, which is very nice. The whole touch screen, color touch screens, as well as the whole unit itself being color is very nice. But where is it? We ordered one a little while ago, and we're expecting around the first week of April. Uh, right now, the Entourage Edge is only available in North America. They do not currently have plans in place to deal with international. So if you are looking to buy the Entourage Edge and you live overseas, you of course can buy it from our store at, uh, at uh, goodyreader.com and we have an Entourage Edge section so international users can be feel free to purchase a unit off of that and uh, we will ship it from, from North America to yourself. So the company itself does not ship but we can more or less do that for you. Speaking of new e-readers, Mattel, which of course is the subsidiary that owns Fisher-Price. Fisher-Price is going to be releasing a new e-reader called the IXL. Now, it's a 3.5 inches diagonally color touchscreen. It's very comparable to the iPhone in the respect that it has six app like boxes for different features. Uh, you can trace letters, draw on your own, upload photos, or of course read a story. Uh, the device is designed for early readers age 3 to 6, and it has the option of reading a story out loud or reading it yourself. Uh, there is things like this, like applications that they have developed so far called Monkey Games. Uh, kids can follow along with the voice as the word is highlighted and is read out loud. So it's very reminiscent to people that maybe grew up in the late 70s, early 80s with those records that you read along with. This is more or less the modern iteration of that. I mean, that's how I learned to read. Back in the day, being three years old and just 
hearing a record over and over, just being able to memorize it and being able to read along with it eventually. That's how I learned to read with read along records. So if I had a kid right now, I would definitely consider getting them the e-reader by Fisher Price, the iXL. This device right now is in early to mid-level prototype stage. Fisher Price hasn't officially announced this product yet, but we can expect perhaps around the time of about fall this year that you'll see a release in time for the big Christmas uh, rush, which last Christmas was big for e-readers. Amazon sold roughly about two and a half million Kindles in uh, in December. Now, the iXL, the way that you would load CDs on it is that you buy CDs from Fisher Price, they cost about $24.99 each. You load the CD into your computer and then you attach the Fisher Price device to your computer and then via USB that's how you load new apps. So no really word yet on whether it's going to have Wi-Fi or not, but chances are for a really low cost entry level product for $79, you're probably not going to have a whole lot of great little internal features. But hey, if you're a parent, you buy a few CDs for your kids, you just basically load them all into the IXL, and your kid has a ton of content. Uh, kids have pretty well, they can become immersed in things and just, you know, get into what they're doing, whether it's a read along. Uh, type game that they're playing, whether they're just reading a book, whether they're drawing with their hands with some of the paint apps. Uh, definitely, this is a unit to look out for, and uh, at Good E-Reader, we are definitely excited to see more e-readers come out aimed at little kids. Asus has recently announced that they are working and going to soon be releasing two different e-readers. One is called the Asus DR900 and the other one is called the DR950. Now the 900 has Wi-Fi 3G, a ni nice 9 inch screen. It's comparable to the Kindle DX in the respects of its size. Uh, of course it has an e-ink uh, e screen. Uh, you also have an SD card slot for further expansion over the 2 gigabyte built-in storage. Now there's a lot of e-readers coming into the market right now and it's big thing to look at is its content delivery system. Uh, Asus may make some pretty nice e-readers here but it's pretty well unknown on how they're actually going to deliver books to their users. Whether they're going to partner up with a larger outfit with like say Barnes & Noble or perhaps even Amazon. It's not really clear cut yet on how Asus determines how they're going to get their content but given the fact that uh, Apple and Amazon right now are trying to lock up publishers, trying to lock up businesses that are in uh, outside of North America that represent a large amount of writers. Uh, right now, Amazon and Apple are both courting different aspects of the writing industry in order to furtherly enhance their content development system. And that's really going to determine um, whether e-readers such as the new Asus ones, whether they'll succeed or fail. Of course, Asus is a really good brand name. Uh, they're in uh, the computer industry. They're experimenting with different cell phones that they're coming out with. But Asus has been a staple point of computer internal components such as motherboards and uh, such like that. So, of course, the Asus 950 now has four gigabytes of internal storage Wi-Fi and 3G. It's a very nice looking system. It looks a lot like the Asus 900, but I think the, the difference between the 900 and the 950 is the amount of internal memory as well as some of the features, but the devices themselves eerily look the same as far as size and scale goes. Now, Asus for the 950 is set to deb debut in the UK for about 250 pounds. And it's going to be expected to come out roughly in about May to June this year. Now, of course, like we said, it remains to be seen whether the Asus content delivery system will be good. But we're sure to definitely report further updates to this uh, as the story continues. Now, for Good E-Reader, this is Marcus. And we want to thank you for listening to our content. And we shall talk to you after a while.